Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to choose between a single point setup and a double point setup. So if you'd like to see how to tie your hammock up for a double point, you should check out this video over here. So let's talk about a single point. For your single point, you'll typically be using a carabiner, which will attach to your daisy chain or attachment point. Then you'll use a swivel, another carabiner, and a figure eight or hitches. A single point setup will typically be used for aerial dance and circus styles with the goal of a performance in mind. This is a super popular option and I would personally recommend using this setup for the following three reasons. Number one is spinning. When you are working with spinning on your hammock, you're able to create movement in static poses, which is more mesmerizing to watch. Number two is teaching. Aerial in any form is a very dynamic movement style to teach and using a single point with a swivel will allow the teacher to display different angles to their students, plus be able to turn around easily without having to get in and out of the hammock. Number three is high ceilings. A single point is going to work best for ceilings or rigging points over 10 feet because of the extra height and equipment needed. The three reasons I would not recommend a single point setup is, number one, Spinning. If you are prone to dizziness or nausea in your aerial practice, then a single point is not for you. Spinning is a separate art form in itself because of the extra gravitational force that occurs. For example, you go faster when you are smaller and slower when you are larger. This also means control of your body and hammock is way harder. This is also why I don't recommend a single point for beginners to aerial yoga. Number two is low ceilings. Because of the extra equipment, aka the swivel, used in a single point setup, you're going to lose height in your setup. I personally like and also have to use a low hammock height when I'm using a single point for my 8.85 foot yoga body rig. If you have a lower ceiling point than 10 feet, then I don't recommend starting with a single point unless you're following along with something like my Embrace Your Light Low Hammock series. Number three is fabric control. When the hammock is gathered all together in a single point, it will take a little longer to learn how to separate the two poles, especially if you're transitioning inside of the hammock. Okay, now let's talk about a double point setup. The equipment you'll typically be using in a double point setup will be two daisy chains, two carabiners, and potentially two hitches or O-rings. First up, I am of course biased for the double point setup because it is what I am most used to and comfortable with but I'm gonna tell you three reasons why. Number one, it is low ceiling friendly. It doesn't matter what ceiling height you have for a double point as it has less equipment. This means you have more hammock to play with without compromising the height of your setup. The double point will work for most ceiling heights. Number two, fabric control and cueing. With the poles separated, you're able to control the fabric and grasp cues like left, right, front, back more clearly. Number three is no spinning. No spinning is just going to make your experience on the hammock easier overall, which is a great reason to use a double point for beginners. The biggest con of a double point setup is mainly just that you'll have no spinning, but I personally think the pros of that for a beginner outweigh the cons. So if you have more questions about a single or double point setup, please comment them down below. I would also love to know which setup you prefer to use and why as well. Until next time, have a beautiful day. If you'd like to see how to tie your hammock up for a double point, you should check out this video over here. If you'd like to see how to tie your hammock up for a single point, you should check out this video over here. Enjoy.